Facing a cancer diagnosis can be an overwhelming experience for anyone, especially parents. Some opt to inform their children immediately upon receiving the diagnosis, while others choose to shield them from the truth in hopes of sparing them distress. However, the Prince and Princess of Wales advocates for honesty with children about cancer, a sentiment supported by psychology experts. Catherine, 42, is the wife of Prince William and the mother of three young children, Prince George, 10, Princess Charlotte, 8, and Prince Louis, who will turn 6 in April. The couple believes that children should be included in the journey of detection and treatment, with information tailored to their age. It's essential to address any questions they may have and reassure them that cancer is not their fault and cannot be transmitted. Princess Catherine, in her own courageous manner, has adopted this approach in discussing her cancer diagnosis with her children. Catherine's decision to delay the public announcement of her diagnosis until Friday was likely motivated by her desire to shield her children from the initial impact of the news. George, Charlotte, and Lewis are all enrolled at Lambrook School, a private institution near the family's residence in Windsor, England. According to Murphy, their Easter holiday has just begun, allowing them to remain in a protected environment with their parents and away from the external world's reactions and discussions surrounding the news. Her recent revelation of undergoing cancer treatment, following abdominal surgery in January, underscores her commitment to transparency and openness. It is hoped that Catherine's decision to share her journey will not only contribute to her full recovery but also raise awareness about women's cancer and encourage meaningful discussions within families. Australian psychologists emphasize the importance of creating an emotionally open environment at home, where all feelings are welcomed without pretense or acting. When discussing cancer with children, it's crucial to maintain calmness, orderliness of thoughts, and reassure them that their actions did not cause the illness. Even in challenging circumstances, maintaining stability in the family routine and encouraging children to maintain social connections with friends can provide a sense of normalcy. It's crucial to remind children that they can talk about their feelings with trusted individuals and that they are not alone in their experiences. Clinical psychologist Rob Gordon stresses the importance of honesty with children about cancer, providing age-appropriate information, and updating them throughout the journey. While facts should be conveyed, a focus on the support, treatment, and positivity can help alleviate their fears and uncertainties. Ultimately, the involvement of children in discussions about cancer, coupled with emotional openness and support, plays a vital role in helping families navigate this challenging journey with resilience and hope. Prince William is expected to resume his royal engagements after the Easter holiday. However, the palace has not specified a return date for Catherine. In a statement, they mentioned, the princess will resume her official duties once she receives clearance from her medical team. She remains in good spirits and is dedicated to achieving a complete recovery. The specific type of cancer that Catherine has been diagnosed with has not been revealed. A spokesperson from Kensington Palace stated on Friday that Kate began a course of preventative chemotherapy in late February.